Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play 60 Seconds. My name is Weasel, with me is The Wheatley, and today we're going to do another user challenge suggested by Alyssa Smith, and it's called Final Stretch. And the objective is uh, as follows. Survive as long as possible by getting as much as possible in the beginning and never going out after that. I like that bit, the never going out part. The thing here is, it is. It, I think it's tricky, but it's doable. Um, we're going to have to... I'm going to do it on the Tsar Bomber difficulty. So I'm going to switch my face down here, and we're going to try to get as much as possible. And I do want to get, mm, I think, I think I'll get Mary Jane. Mary Jane, where are you? Um, of course, we're going to get useful items, as many as we can. And I think, yeah, since we're not going out, I'm taking Mary Jane. Um, even though it might make sense to even get uh, Dolores in case Ted gets sick. That's, that's always a possibility that he gets sick, but eh, let's grab the water. Okay, we need more food as well. I have plenty of water now. Gotta make sure to grab that. Boy Scout book, yerp. Come here, come here, Mary Jane. Chances she might turn into a mutant. We never know, and then we are the father mutant team. The, the challenge didn't say um, how much to bring. Um, I'm just going to assume what is a good combo. Okay, that's good. We got plenty of food and water now. Let's make sure to bring plenty of items. Okay. Come on, get, 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 get this. Okay, I think I can grab one or two more items without completely ruining it. Mm, give me this, give me that. Can I grab... I can maybe make... No, I can't make it. I gotta run, I gotta skedaddle. Made it! Okay, that was very close. But... We got there. We got all the items that we needed, I think. We got our daughter. It's kind of father-daughter challenge in a way, but without going out. Um, thing is, since we can't go out, we couldn't go out this way anyway. But since we are not allowed to go out, this is the challenge. All right, uh, the least the two of us made it. We don't even have to consider sending anyone out, which makes things quite easy. I hope we can make it. I would really love to see those two survive. I would really love that. Luckily, the challenge didn't say how many people I had to bring, so I think those two will just do fine. Uh, we feel like something was staring at us from the other side of the room. Well, then let's chop it to pieces and eat it. That's what you do with people that stare at you. No, you don't. No, you don't. Don't, don't, don't take what I say serious. Whatever it was, it's dead now, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of these nasty little holes. Well, it's dead, but we didn't get to eat it. Ted should drink something soon. Nope, not yet. I'm gonna wait for day five. We heard something about supply drops on the radio. This just might be what we need to survive, and it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and find out if it's really happening? Um... There might be, I mean, this is kind of like going out, but it's more or less an event. So I don't really consider this like going out. Um, going out for me is like actually engaging in a scavenge mode, like prepare an expedition and then going out. I would consider that going out of the bunker. The airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies, like two bottles of water and two cans of soup. It's actually great, man. We got, we can survive for quite some time down here. We didn't even have to think about getting out. That's fantastic. We're unstoppable. We're, we're a great team, Mary Jane. Now you only gotta turn into a mutant and we gotta find Pancake and everything's gonna be fine. Man, Pancake would be great. Would be possible. As we were considering alternatives to the canned soup, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned it were it turned out we were visited by a band of survivors. We're in pretty bad shape. They wanted to get something to drink. Or food. Um you know what? I'll give him a bottle of water. I feel generous today. I feel generous because we had such a great start and we got that drop and, you know, if you can't, if, if, if nobody else helps you, I mean, someone gotta help him. All right, had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. You're very welcome. You don't need to say anything. No new problems are troubling Ted this fine morning and Mary Jane is fine. That's how I like it. And our trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is, we have not much of an appetite. Okay, we're gonna smash any cockroach with the Boy Scout book. That's probably what you use it the most for, for squishing insects. That event kind of happened several times during a run. Mary Jane is hungry, Ted is hungry. I got you covered. I mean, just with that, 50 days, ah, easy peasy. Easy peasy. Which is a thing cool kids say nowadays, the hip kids, right? I got a ski daddle, easy peasy. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't sit. I can't resist that joke. All right, uh, we could do it in our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part. Um, let's keep our ears and eyes open. 
Yeah, let's listen to the radio and hope that the military will come and save us. I would I would appreciate that. Um uh, what's going on? We made contact, the military is out there, and they're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. Rip. Uh, I hope so. <sighs> Water is not needed yet. We're just gonna wait this on. And I'm gonna take a sip from my... Super tasty smoothie. It doesn't look tasty, but it is super tasty. If you know what was in there, you'd be freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Ted looks like he had one foot in the grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard that a million times. There's nothing more annoying than silence. Uh, is there anything we can do with the radio to make it work again? Let's not do that. I, I don't think any one of you are uh, trained electricians. I mean, I, I would, if I knew an electrician, he'd said like, I want to fix that radio. I would say like, I believe you can do that. If you're not an electrician, I don't believe you can. Maybe Ted is an electrician. He doesn't strike me as a... He strikes me as a white-collar worker, not not a blue-collar worker. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. He looks like he's working in an office, in a cubicle. Something along those lines. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe he's wearing his Sunday outfit. Maybe Jane keeps fainting. Ted looks like he got one foot in the grave. Yep, 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 yep. Time for water. We do not want to screw this up, Weasel, do we now? By not giving them water, and then everyone's upset at me for not giving them water. I'm also upset. This is actually a really great bunker. This is, this is how it looks. This is how a bunker should look like before the bomb drop. Not when the bomb is dropped and you gotta run for it. No, this is this is this is how your bunker should be prepared at all times. But hey, I, this is just my thought. What do I know? Okay. Uh, by the way, didn't need anything food, food related. Nope, everything's fine. What is the event? It's been a while, we don't know much about what's happening on the surface. Yep, let's listen in. Chances are it's gonna tell us that the radiation has gone. We'll see. I'm just assuming that. Uh, great news, the fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface. I played this game quite a lot, didn't I? Or don't I? No, I did. And I do. I'm playing this game a lot, don't I? It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. This morning has been calm enough for Ted. He's doing well. I like what I'm hearing. What's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. It is only reasonable to go and check it out. How about using that manhole in the corner? Sure, let's go down and fight an alligator because I think that's what's going to happen. And Ted got injured. It was an alligator. Sometimes it is. A mutated crocodile or an alligator or something else with giant mouth and plenty of teeth. Sounds like an alligator. Mary Jane could use food. Ted is hungry. All right. We're gonna heal Ted. Uh, no reason not to. Um, we do not have bug spray, right? Oh, we do have bug spray, so there's always the off chance that we can use the Boy Scout book to make new medicine in case we do need it. We could also get it through an event. Uh, also quite possible. It is day 14. Captain Slark, day 14. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope the help comes soon. Mary Jane keeps fainting. That looks like a foot in the grave. Yep, 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 yep. We were able to catch the military broadcast. Oh, they need a flashlight? I don't have a flashlight. That's the only thing I don't have. The game picks the item you don't have just to troll you. I am sure of it. I'm sure there's a function somewhere in the game saying, if player does not own said item but everything else, run that event all the time just to annoy him. I'm, I'm fairly certain about that. I would I would bet on it, which you do a lot in this game anyway. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they know how much flashlight batteries cost? Okay, time for water. We're gonna keep going. What would ah damn it! An earthquake! Well, let's save the radio. We don't need the gas mask too often. Uh we might need it for a military event, but we also need the radio to hear about set military events. So I think we're gonna go with the radio. And we can repair the gas mask with the Boy Scout book if we get that event. Okay, nothing new is going on with Ted and Mary Jane. And we have a gang of firefighters outside and we're gonna shoot them. Shoot them! Shoot them in their firefighter butts. Yes. That's a good, good, good plan of action. Uh, it's not surprising that a few shots were enough to send those cowards running. Very well. Nothing new is bothering Mary Jane or Ted, so we can keep going and let's listen to the radio. Hopefully there's some info interesting information for us. Like some good sales or deals or, you know, free smoothie at some smoothie place. 
Friendly Soul on the radio was talking about a supply pack she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through our street. We rushed out, got the package before anyone else. Two bottles of water, one can of soup. Man, we can stay for quite some time in here. This is very good. Unless, of course, an alligator eats us. May Jane has been awfully silent today. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? Yeah, let's let's talk to her. Like a father-daughter talk. What is it, honey? What is it? Do the, do the other girls in the school say you're ugly? I got nothing. Nothing solves problems better than honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter, but talking alone seems to do the trick. Okay. Uh, water. Nope. Tomorrow. That's easy. That's at least a nice thing. If they never go out, you kind of uh, you stay on the same schedule, so you don't have to worry too much about screwing that up. Uh, day twenty. Okay, they're hungry. We can do that, and we can give them some water. No events. Pretty much just waiting for events to happen here to transpire, and then while well, I'm reacting in the proper way. <sighs> Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Mary Jane seems fine today. Ted is not complaining much. Okay. Shine your boots, hoist a flag. The army's on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlight ready, which I don't have. Thank you, army. Have you considered, you know, doing something else like leaving cards or chopping down trees or anything that I could use all my other items for? But no, no. Here's the thing. Would be too easy. And nobody wants easy. The signal has to wait. Besides, do they even know how much that costs? Yes, yes, yes. Heard that one before. Uh, we thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. Since this is not an expedition event, I'm gonna send them out to avoid them getting uh, insane. I'm gonna send Mary Jane. Just, she's gonna be back right away. That's the uh, nice thing about it. I barely consider that going out. She's just fatigued. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. Oh! Hey! That's the first time I'm getting another event here. That's, I usually only get the soup salesman that tells me that they have soup and then we go and it's pretty pointless. So, let's read this. When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. How did I know to call that number? Anyway, they introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information, then the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. That's cool. Um, that should help us with um, not getting crazy, obviously. Ted doesn't drink, he won't survive for too long. Well, wait, why is he thirsty? Oh, right, right, because when she, when, when a survivor goes out, they don't need water and the schedule moves. It's weird, it's really weird. We're gonna give her water on day 25. And hey, that's cool, I didn't know that could happen, so I'm definitely going to make sure to answer this. I don't know how it's going to help, if it's going to make the chance that we're getting rescued higher or not, we'll see. Doesn't really tell us something. Okay, very well. Yeah, we wish we could leave. I wish you could leave too, because then I could win or so. Well, if you could leave, it wouldn't be the challenge. Will we? Do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? Hopefully the latter. Uh, time for water. Very good. Our hideout was approached by a man we didn't know he claimed to used to be an accountant. And now he wants to play a card game without cards. I still think this is the silliest thing ever. If you want to gamble with someone, you got it. It's like going into a casino and saying like, "Oh well, you want to when you want to we want to play blackjack." And like, "Oh yeah, I want to play blackjack." And they, "Well, you got you got a table and a dealer and some cards?" Like, "No." "Well, I don't know. Frank, Frank, why are you not making profit? Casinos are supposed to make money." It's... All right. Let's keep going. Day 26. Gambling is a terrible habit. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Ted is hungry. Here's some food. Oh, this dreadful silence. Is there anything we can do about that? Well, I hope we're not trying to break the radio with this event. It says that, is there anything we can do about it? It doesn't say we're tinkering with it. And it's not broken, so I assume that's good. How fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. No, you can't. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, and no trouble dared to cross her path. No problems are troubling Ted. I like that. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appears as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Even though I said these are not really uh, events that I would consider going out, I'm still not going out because this is like an expedition. 
and it's not going to help us get to the military faster. So we're going to stay inside according to challenge. We're not going outside. We're not going to explore. We're, we're, we got plenty of food. We don't need to risk our lives doing that. So, yeah, childish drawings on the map are not exactly a good reason to risk our heads in this whole mess of a situation. What would be buried there, if anything at all? Half a dozen bottle caps? Pfft, clearly not worth the risk. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Really thirsty. Wait, is she thirsty too? Yeah, they both are. Okay. Uh, here's some food, Mary Jane. And we're able to catch the military broadcast. Uh, they want the flashlight again. They like to do that. I don't have one. I can't get one. Unless we get some magical event that gives us one. The signal has to wait. Besides, you don't even know how much that costs. Never gets old to hear that. He's preening himself, by the way, in case you were wondering what he's doing. And then he gets angry at my headset. That's not my fault. The headset was here before. Yes. Yes. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Ted, look at one foot in the grave. All right. Tomorrow. Not time for water yet. Enjoying the little things is important in any situation. So when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks that with a little luck, enough water and so we might be able to grow our own food. Yeah, let's use a bottle of water and start our own garden. Why not? I have a feeling it might take some time before we get anyone to rescue us because we don't have a flashlight. All right, one bottle of water. Here goes nothing. Okay, time for water for everyone. I still got three bottles. We could use some extra supplies. The last time we went to the supply room, we noticed the damaged tank. tank stuck in the rubble nearby. It's close by. It is close by. We need a flashlight. Otherwise, we cannot win. I'm going to send the lords. Ah, Mary Jane out to the tank. The end? What happened? The last thing we expected was a giant explosion. We could hear the debris falling from the sky and hitting the sad remains of our house. The tanker must have been booby trapped or contained volatile explosives. We, why we did it? Why? Ted was killed. What? What just happened? I mean, Mary Jane is back and the tank blew up, but Ted was killed. How? He didn't go outside! I, I, I... Well, the tank blew up. Sometimes you can find stuff there. But... Well then... <laughs> Ted was killed by a tank explosion. That is... That is new. I, I wouldn't have expected that. I perished. I tried. Anyway, thank you guys, Lizard Smith, so much for suggesting um, this challenge. I hope I did it somewhat right. I know, I went outside one or two times and the last time it killed me. But that was interesting. That was quite interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have an idea for a challenge, leave it in the comments below. And uh, if you like a challenge that you see there, hit that like button. So, you know, you know it will rise to the top and people will see. I will know what people want to see. Um, Yeah, there we go. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm Weasel. I'm out and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. What are you up to? What? 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 <laughs>